with this. Oh, Thank God you're here. Every second we're talking is one more second of airtime that Zack Johnson is stealing from me. Who? You know, that nut job lawyer who gets hard at the idea of a lawsuit. Lately he's been crusading against media he deems to be offensive. Does he have a lot of support? Not really. But the guy makes a big enough ass out of himself that whenever he pulls some stunt, people listen. And if people are watching him, they're not watching me. So what do you want me to do? Get out there and give me something worth covering. The more damage you do, the longer I can do a live broadcast. I'm dropping are better than So few bullets. said that this year's heat wave has made this summer the worst in Stillwater's history. Today, another feather has been added to this year's dubious cap. The leader of the Third Street Saints has awoken. Long since forgotten, this criminal icon joined fellow inmate Carlos Mendoza in a brazen escape from Stillwater Penitentiary. In a plan born from Pruno and desperation, the two fugitives cut a bloody swath as they moved from cell block to the open water. While their current whereabouts are unknown, it's safe to assume that the sidewalks are no longer safe. I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Tokata and Fugue in D minor here on Classic 102.4. Oh,
What's up? It's Gat. Meet me at Aisha's place. We gotta figure out our next move. Sooner or later, someone will stab you in the back. Starting danger is my middle name. Oh! Anyone else steps, they can expect the same thing. Well, come on in. You want a beer? Yeah, that'd be great. Johnny, who's that? Yo, come to the living room and find out. Johnny, I don't care if you just broke out of jail. You do not mess with my furniture. Oh, my God. It's you. Surprised, Aisha? What? That you're here, or that you're talking? Pick one. We all thought you were dead. I almost was. Well, for someone who was blown to hell, you look great. <laughs> Did you do something with your hair? Uh, I've been getting that a lot. Yo, can we get back to business? What's the rush? I've been cooped up on death row, and that bitch has been laid out in a coma. We definitely need to remind motherfuckers who we are. And that can't wait until after dinner? No. <laughs> you two haven't changed at all. Well, you know, there's a saying about dogs and blowing shit up. <laughs> so what's the plan? We get our crew together. Once we got that, we can work on how we're taking back our city. Sounds good. And where were you planning on having this little meeting? No. Well, this place is pretty spacious. No. The color's very soothing. No. Come on, Ish. This ain't no fucking gang clubhouse. Change your plans. We gotta find a new place? Yeah, you got it. Head over to the old mission house. We should be able to set up shop there. Why don't we just set up shop at the church? 
Altoids renovated it and turned it into a tourist trap. You kidding me? I wish I was. We gotta find a new place, and the mission house will be perfect. Religious buildings are kind of been there, done that. Now, we're not staying in the mission. Now, check it out. Years ago, an earthquake dropped part of the city below sea level, and rather than clearing out the rubble, the city just built over it. There's an abandoned hotel below the mission that'll work for us. All right, what's the catch? We gotta evict the current tenants. Sounds like fun. for a reason.
Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and Gat said I was getting soft. Oh, won't someone put a stop to this? Oh! Hobo Dynamite! My last drop of blood. Your sacrifice. Chance to regroup. What the hell is this? Ah, I send you home and a body bag. Oh, oh. When you motherfuckers gonna learn? So, what you think? It's kind of a shithole. True that. But it's a shithole with potential. I don't know, man. Oh, come on. A stripper pole, some flat screens, maybe some nicer furniture. You had me at stripper pole. Fucking A. 